Hello and welcome to this Medicine Wheel Tarot Reading Ceremony. This recording was created from an hour and a half online event that I've narrowed down into this 30-minute gift from my heart to yours. Welcome and blessed be. Lovely. Oh my goodness, here we are in this space and time. Take a look at all of the beautiful souls that have gathered here. Oh my beauty. And it's all women. I love that feminine goddess energy coming through. I am seeing lots of beautiful smiles too. It's glad to have that energy and that medicine right now. I'm Raven Shree and we have just been initiated into spring. It is the start of a new season, a budding, blooming, alive season full of potentiality and growth. And we're also entering into a new world order as this global humanity is being initiated into a new world order. And we're blessed to be able to be in this time and to have a spiritual path that encourages us and nurtures us to stand in the light and to be guardians and to be lovers and to be alive and present in the truth that's coming alive. So thank you for spending a little bit of your Saturday here with all of us. I'm just loving seeing everybody's faces. This is so beautiful and so great. The essence of our journey today, the roadmap that we're going to be using is the medicine wheel. And today we're going to be activating a medicine wheel tarot reading. Some of you might have tarot cards or oracle cards or soul collage cards or no cards at all, but simply wanted to be present with the energy that's here. So um, show up in your fullness and it will be perfect from that point forward. There are a couple of things just to orient us to some of the items, some of the asked to bring to the ceremony. So first of all, you will want to have a tarot deck. So if you have one, go ahead and pull that up and let's just see who's got what, what colors, what shapes. Hold that up. Oh, yay. Lovely. And those of you that don't have a deck, smile, let your light shine. You have all of these archetypes inside of you. Yes, yes. Lovely. So we'll be working with tarot decks in this call. Also a journal. So if you have a journal, go ahead and hold that up. You're going to want to have an opportunity to record the wisdoms and the questions and the absurdities that show up on this journey. So you'll want a, a journal and a pen. Also, one of the asks was to bring a glass of water. We're going to be working with the elements as we travel through the medicine wheel. Each direction is governed by an element, earth, water, fire, air, and we will be ingesting this water when we get into the West. So feel free to activate that love prayer in your water. And then a candle um, that we're gonna be lighting when we get into the South, when we work with the element of fire. If you don't have a candle handy, guess what? You've got fire burning in your soul, so figure out how to ignite it and get that baby lit when we get to that part of the ceremony. And I actually have several cards that I'm working with. I collected one deck per direction, and but in North, which governs ancestor medicine and our allies and winter and that deep season of endurance as we go in, I have an ancestor deck. I felt that was really appropriate for the North. Um, in the West, I have a deck of cards that I just activated at a Little Red Riding Hood Soul Collage event, and they were very um, well received by the women in that group. And there's just one word on the card, very succinct messaging, which is what the West gets to bring in. It gets to bring in a, an intuitive guidance, and it can be a symbol or it can be a word that just offers as an anchor for how we move forward in life. So I am activating this in my direction of West. The deck that I have charging in the South is an archetype deck by Carolyn Mace. I do highly recommend this deck. Um, the South is really where we role play, where we have different roles and different personas and different ways of showing up in the world. And so this is a really nice deck um, to get clarity on um, for South and how we show up in community and in the world. And then in the East, which is um, spring, 
now. Um, I have a deck that I haven't really worked on, but it had the medicine wheel in it. So I figured it would be perfect for this call. And this is a Native American wisdom teaching deck. And I felt that this would be nice to work with to receive guidance for um, developing my practice throughout this season. So I have several decks and I wanted to share them with you so you can just kind of understand some different ways to work with tarot. Some tarot decks might resonate with a different direction on the medicine wheel. So the medicine wheel is an indigenous map. And it's a map that has the four directions articulated on it. And this map is mapping the seasons of a day, of a year, of a life. So as the sun rises in the morning and we have morning and then we've got afternoon and then we have twilight and then we have midnight, there's this cycle that we move through in the day. And each one of those seasons of a day has a different energetic value, a different archetypal energy that we can connect into. Also, the medicine wheel is going to map out the seasons of a year. So we're entering into spring. So there's this blooming and there's awakening and that sap is rising up. And then we get into summer, which is like full on blooming. We are living in this vibrant, sunny space. And then we move into the West, which is autumn, where we start to enter into that twilight time, where we start to loosen form and go inward and access wisdom. That's going to seed us into winter, which is in the North. Winter takes us inward into a darker space of midnight. And so each one of those seasons of the year has a different energetic value, a different archetypal reference point that we can be schooled with and apprenticed to throughout the year. Also, the medicine wheel governs a season of a lifetime. So when we are a child and we're in the spring of our life and we're skipping around and, and we're innocent and we're explorers and, and we're also learning how to be an orphan in the world as well as we start to individuate. And then we move into adolescence, which is summer. And we are in a peer group and we're crafting our adulthood and we're learning how to interact in that socioeconomic container of society. And then if we're lucky, we can go through a death lodge and release some of that mainstream trapping and move into West as a soul initiated adult, as an individual that has a true soul purpose as a giveaway, as a giveaway to humanity and as a giveaway to the earth. And these times that we're in right now are really calling for us to know our soul work and to offer it to humanity and the earth, regardless of the circumstances. If it's Armageddon, you know what? That's when we need it the most, folks. So now is the strong call to action. And then that leads us into North, which is the cronehood, which is the elders. And as we're aware with this pandemic, that is an aspect of our generations that is greatly influenced and susceptible to this. So we really want to value and honor that elderhood and that wisdom, not only in the living form here, but in the elders that are in our ancestral tree that we get to call on and connect into. So the medicine wheel is a map, and it's the terrain that we'll be traveling as we pull our cards for this tarot reading. However, there's a little kind of um, switch up that we're going to do, because all of those things that I just talked about were clockwise rotations. Those are normal spiels, right, through a day and a season and a lifetime. And things are not normal right now. Things are deconstructing and falling. Like the Tower of Tarot is saying, okay, systems collapse. Let's start a new world order. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do the medicine wheel backwards. We're going to start in the north. We're going to start in the, in the element of earth and really ground down. And then we're going to go counterclockwise. And we're going to bring that into our adulthood, into our service model. And then we'll bring that into the South and we'll find our power and tension from that and light our candle. And then we can bring that into East, into spring and land here in this awakening season and go out into the world with this um, alive in our potentiality. So we're going to switch things up a little bit with our medicine wheel reading today. I think it's perfect. Okay. So what 
will do for the ceremony. I'm going to play a song so you can put your deck in your cards and shuffle it and do all of your magic witchy stuff, which we always need to make time for. And then what I'll do is I'll do a very short invocation to that direction and call in some of those archetypal energies. And you'll pull a card from your deck for that direction and place it down in front of you. And then we'll do the next direction and you'll pull a card. When you pull a card, keep it face down. Okay, so we're just, this is just keep it face down. Once we've laid out the whole spread, then we'll come back in and we'll see what allies have arrived to um, educate us in this schooling that we are currently enrolled in. So we'll do an invocation, pull a card, keep it face down, and do keep them in order so that when we're going through, you know what card is for what direction, because that might have another layer of inspiration for you um, as you look at it through that model. So I'm going to go ahead and play a song while you activate your cards in your hand. Great Spirit, thank you for all that is, all of the gifts you give us. Please help us to transform our suffering. Lead us through our darkness into your light. Please move through us and allow us to let go of the things that block you things that keep you from moving freely. Help us to share your love with each other, to heal our relationships with our brothers and sisters, with our Mother Earth and with ourselves. Thank you, thank you, thank you for these opportunities to share, to be alive in this present moment, for the gift of life. Help us to live in ways that honor you, that honor our ancestors and the future generations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope all my relations. And deepening your breath now. Inhaling that ancient breath that has been inhaled and exhaled for eons of time. We call in the direction of North. North, thank you so much for your guidance and your teachings, your winter teachings of endurance. Thank you for teaching us opportunities to practice right timing, knowing that this timing that we're called to come in, come into ourselves, come into the depths of soul. We call on our ancestors and our allies and our guardians and our angels. We call you into our heart space to accompany us, to befriend us, to teach us, to be with us through this time. And so when you are ready, finding your breath and finding guidance to a card in your deck that feels like there's a message, an intuitive hit from an ancestor of some winter north wisdoms available for you and keeping that card facing downward. Staying with your breath. And once again, shuffling your cards now as we feel into the direction of west. Oh, thank you so much to the spirits of the west for your teaching of tears, for the water that you baptize us in, and the emotions that you bring alive in our flesh and in our mind. Thank you for the waterways of the world, the oceans, the rivers, the streams, the marshes. Thank you for the water that we're using to wash our hands and clean our house and to drink. Wes, thank you so much for the activation of intuition in our lives. We call on you, West, through this activity of pulling our cup of water in front of us and coming into this element of earth, wrapping your hands around the cup and just taking a moment to open up your third eye space, that space between your two physical eyes. Just open up a fluid, receptive channel for intuition 
to be received, to be heard, to be felt. And charge up this intention of your intuition into your water. May your intuition heal your emotions, move your feeling states to remedy any stagnation. And may this water replenish you and anoint you and baptize you in this new beginning that you are embarking on. Charging up your water with this prayer. And when you're ready, ingesting that and bringing that into your earth body. Earth and water are foundation. Oh my goodness, that's good. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Aho, thank you, water. Blessings and wisdom in portions from the West, pulling out a card that teaches you how can you continue to keep this channel of intuitive knowingness alive in this now. Pulling that card and keeping it face down. And now coming into the direction of south. South is that direction of fire. That transformative function that takes matter and transforms it into heat and energy and light. And we're moving through transformation right now where the form of our structures is collapsing. And in that transformation, there is heat and energy and light. And so there is a calling that the South wants of you and it's going to take courage and it's going to take right action and it's going to for this authentic fullness of you to come forward in this time. And so feeling into your deck and pulling a card that feels like a vibrant message for how you can show up in your full self in this always now. Keeping that card face down Now we're going to move into east. East is the direction of spring. That's now. So just even as you sit here, feel your feet on the ground, feel your butt on the ground, feel the earth supporting you, and just feel a stirring way down deep in the soil that wants to grow and come alive. A stirring that wants to reach up towards the light and towards the air of potentiality and possibilities. What dream wants to be dreamed for you? What possibility do you want to invoke with innocence and joy and abundance in this now? How can you bring lightness to the dark through your sheer radiant presence? What message wants to come through for you? Calling in the element of air and taking in a big inhalation. Inspire life right now. And exhale, offering gratitude out to the world. Ah, oh, what a journey this being alive is. And feeling into a car that has a message, a message of potentiality for this new life we're crafting together. Pulling a card and leaving that face down. Oh my goodness, and because there's always something new and exciting in the now, we're going to do a fifth card reading, and this is a card that goes in the center of the medicine wheel. This is grounded in all directions. This is your self card. This is the way in and through. This is a consolidated message for you to bring into your living pattern. So feeling into your deck and pulling a self card. La 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 la
going to meet our guides. And what we're going to do for this section, first of all, you're going to need your journal and the pen. Go ahead and place your hand on the North card. And just know that there's wisdom, there's information here for you. There's imagery on the side of the card. There might be words, there might be numbers. So the soul speaks in images. And so I really recommend that when you turn over your card and you see the image, that you attune to those first thoughts, those first impulses that come through. And that's what I'd like for you to record in your journal. You'll have time to compose full sentences with punctuation and proper grammar at a later point. This is free form journaling, just allowing yourself an opportunity to record that first comes through as we're here in this sacred space. And we'll take about a minute or so per car just to journal those first words down. And then of course, you'll have an opportunity to explore these when we move forward. So go ahead and place your hand on the North card and just connect back into the themes of North. That essence of winter and mid midnight, that element of right timing and endurance. Your ancestors have something to tell you. And so turn over your card and see what shows up and take a moment to journal. And placing your hand now on your West card. Mm. And feeling back into the spirits and the energy of West. That water element, that intuitive force that is a true guiding force for you in your life. It's not so much an external system that's going to inform you of truth. It's an internal radar that comes through. And so what can this West guide inform you of? And so turning over that card and journaling first thought impulses. <laughs> Taking a breath. Mm, a deeper breath. Hey, Raven, I can't hear you. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, I don't know what happened. That was so funny. I was talking about structures collapsing and then brrrp, my you know, internet. You were, you, were frozen. you were frozen for the longest time in this. <laughs> Hilarious. Have to watch that is so perfect time. for the summer yeah. ego thing. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Thank you universe for humor. Humor yes. is part of the South as well. Laughter. <laughs> yes. Laughter is good medicine. Well, as let's well. see what courage and humor want to come through um, in the South calling on right action and right relation, turning over that card. Oh by golly gee. And writing about that one. Taking a breath, breathing that in. And placing your hand on your East card. The season of spring, something new wants to come alive, a potentiality, a, a living model of innocent, expansive, center presentness. Something that really wants to come alive for you this season. This is a good apprenticeship card for you for the season. So taking a breath because that's the element of air. Exhale gratitude for whatever's coming your way because it's here now. Flip over your card and see what has shown up. Mm. Oh, <laughs> And we have one more card now, this center card, this fully embodied self that resides in the center of the wheel, regardless of season, regardless of internal, external circumstances. There's a core, there's a center, 
there's a way in and through this particular experience that we're all living in. And so turning over yourself see what message wants to come through. <laughs> And looking at your full spread and noticing how powerful you are to be able to reach into the universe with your consciousness and your breath and a few glorious women on this thing called Zoom and be able to access some guidance, some inspiration. We all need a little bit of inspiration these days. And so what we're going to do now is get our candle and we're gonna light this candle with gratitude and love and appreciation for the messages that are coming through. Not so much from an external source, but from our own soul knowing and from a divine download. And so feeling into that gratitude and lighting your candle with that intention of appreciation. The world needs our light right now. The world needs us to live our light. But you know what? A candle needs wax to grow. A candle needs wax to glow. And this is your practice. Your daily practice is what creates the wax. Your life is the wick and the divine light that shines out of it. All that takes care of itself. But if you don't have the wax, your light's not going to grow. So you need a daily practice to add wax to your candle holder. And so these cards that we're working with, those are inputs into our daily practice. This is how we add wax to our wick. That's a good one. Part of growing on our evolutionary pathword, pathway is sharing and being witnessed in that sharing, being witnessed in our epiphanies and in our struggles, in our humanity. And so what I during the live ceremony, each woman had an opportunity to share cards from her spread and insights and inspirations that came through from their reading. That's one of the true values of attending the live event is being able to enter into real time connection space with others. Um, I had a really powerful spread and um, Wow, like every card just hits me like right in the center. But the one that I'll speak to, well, I'll speak to a couple. Um, in the West, I pulled this card and it's Wonders. And I really love this because in my middle world apprenticeship, I've been informed that beauty is healing. And so I've been really trying to find beauty every day and to be beauty, to get dressed, to be in a mission of light and beauty um, to help those that are suffering. Um, so this was just a reminder to me to find that beauty. Um, also, <laughs> in the South, I got slave. Holy crap. So that's like, as the systems collapse, I want to be more allowing of releasing my slavitude to some of the old forms and belief structures that I got ensnared in um, that keep me um, a slave to old ways that no longer um, are fitting for my fullness. I did get a self-sacrifice card. Oh my God. So um, my soul service doesn't put me first. It actually, you know, being in service to others, there's an element of self-sacrifice that happens. Whether you're a parent or a teacher or a mentor or a leader for a community, there's an element of self-sacrifice. So yippee yay. But the one that really got me um, is my center card, which is perfect. And it has a black jaguar on it. And so I've done a lot of work with Black Jaguar in my eight year immersion in the underworld. And when I came into the middle world, the underworld shut down to me and none of my allies were allowed into my life. And um, it's been three years that I haven't had access to them. 
until last night. Last night I did a shamanic journey and the pain and the destruction currently happening on a collective level was enough to make a crack happen in the underworld. And my allies started jumping out and it was a reunion and it was amazing. And I have my tribe back. Woo. And Black Jaguar was one of them. So, okay. Whew. My recommendation for all of us is to continue to work this spread. You're home, so you ha don't have a lot of distractions that you can use as an excuse or a procrastination. So some of your decks might have books that you can read and learn more about the cards. I recommend journaling. If you're a painter, go ahead and paint your own version of a card or your interpretation of it. If you're a writer, go ahead and write how that character or that energy is alive in your life. If you have a land, a piece of property, go make art on your land with rocks and twigs. If you are a gardener, plant seeds that have these intention, like bring it down from this philosophical mind area into your expressed embodied being like really make love with this stuff I mean you're really on a daily practice work with these messages put them into play into your life start taking these lessons and embodying them and then the universe is gonna say wow she's listening that intuition that she drank huh she's really lit. she's drinking the kool-aid let's go ahead and give you more input let's give you more inspiration let's give you more vitality so by really cultivating this in your daily life right now you're adding wax to your wick you're really creating that committed responsibility for the fullness of your being no matter what's happening externally find your inner self and bring that alive as fully as you can and taking a deep breath as we begin to bring closure to the ceremony time we've shared and looking at your spread as we bring integration to our time here together. Coming back into the medicine wheel and we're going to just encapsulate some of the main components of the directions. And so thanking the direction of north thanking the direction of North for your teachings of right timing, for endurance. Thank you to the direction of North for the allies and the wisdom sources that are available to guide me through the darkness. Thank you. Aho. Looking at your West card. Thank you so much to the spirit of West for giving us fluidity, for allowing the water element to remove stagnation and to cleanse and anoint and baptize our intuition as a guiding radar for how we move through this shape-shifting twilight time. Aho. <sighs> Looking at your South card, Thank you so much to the spirits of South and to the fires of transformation for taking form and transmuting it into heat, light, and energy. May we find the courage to live in right relationship and right action in this time of immense transformation on a global level for all of humanity. Aho. Looking at your card in the East. Thank you to the spirits of the East for your breath of inspiration. For the expansive possibilities that lay awake in this moment. Thank you so much for reminding us of joy innocence, and of center presentness. Aho. And to the center card, feeling that medicine wheel in all directions, 
being embraced by the totality of all and finding your center point in that, breath by breath, moment by moment, you by you, blessed evolutions to every single one of you as you navigate your way through this journey. It has been so beautiful to see your faces and to hear your wisdom and to be connected into this life force. I love each one of you so much, so freaking much. If you would like to learn more, about Wild Soul Wanderings, you can find me on my website, wildsoulwanderings.com. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. Also, if you benefited from this recording, I'd love to hear from you. Be well, be alive, be now. Aho.